maybe the most anticipated vehicle of the next few months of the 2021 Ford Bronco. Yeah, the Supra and the Corvette both had their day in the sun, but now it's time for Bronco to shine. Hi, my name is Eric, and speaking of shining and sun, this new Bronco has what looks like a removable roof and also some removable side windows. So we're gonna get into that. So a couple days ago, Ford Authority reported a removable roof and also removable side windows. So this is a pretty new thing. This is the latest bit of news. And unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot of news on the Bronco because Ford is kind of keeping this one real close to the vest. If you remember with the C8 Corvette, and I don't know if you guys are Corvette fans that are watching this video, General Motors really, really held things really, really tightly, and it was very hard to get a lot of accurate information until pretty close to the launch. So I don't think we're that close to the launch if the historical trend of leaks uh, is sort of, you know, where we are in this life cycle of leaks. They should get more and more and more as we get closer. So I think we're not super close to the launch right now, but back to Ford Authority. So this patent on screen right now shows a way of securing these panels to the car and actually locking them too. So if you're at the beach, no one can you know, walk away with your windows and your roof and stuff like that and sell them on Amazon or eBay for a, a hefty markup when you've just got your brand new Bronco. But there is the question, there's all these patent leaks. Is this actually, are these things actually for the Bronco? So if you look at the current Ford lineup, I don't see what else they could really be for because there isn't an existing vehicle that you're gonna have a removable roof and a removable you know, top for the car, so, or the SUV or whatever it is. So I think this is most likely these patents are you know, gonna be applicable to what is probably gonna be the Bronco. So we're gonna get more into these patents in just a second, but a quick history lesson on the Bronco. It was in production from 1965 to 1996. So this is a real American icon. And there's one Bronco which is particularly famous and it's a little bit associated with a breakfast thing that you might drink in the morning. Yes, a juice, the juice. OJ Simpson, 1994 in June, he was driving up the 405 freeway. In fact, I remember this a long time ago. I was making dinner with my friends and looking at the slow-mo chase going up the 405 in Los Angeles. So that's probably the most famous Bronco. And so you can see the unique shape of this thing is essentially a two-door SUV. And this was before SUVs were really cool and really a thing. Now the Bronco ended production in 1996, so OJ, maybe he had something to do with the sales. I don't know, we should blame him or love him or whatnot, but he's out of jail right now. And hopefully the new Ford Bronco is gonna get out of spy photo jail real soon. Sorry for the bad joke. So what kind of engine is this likely to have? So The Drive recently reported a couple weeks ago that Canadian Tire, which is, I grew up in Canada, it's sort of a, how can I describe it? It's a, they don't just sell tires, they sell garden equipment, they sell toasters, they sell home stuff. It's sort of a Walmart, but with more of a car focus. Anyways, they reported that somebody looked in their um, catalog in their automotive shop and that the 2.3 liter EcoBoost was listed as an engine, possible engine for this new Bronco. The 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, now that is available in, of course, the Ford Mustang. Currently, it's making 310 horsepower and 350 pounds feet of torque. If you've ever been at an airport in an Avis or any other you know, location to rent a car, they try to upgrade you to the Mustang, that's the engine you're gonna get. So you might actually be familiar with it. And you know what? It doesn't sound amazing, but it is pretty torquey. Now, what's the engine that's gonna be most likely in this vehicle? Probably the 10-speed transmission that is currently in the Mustang and is also in the Camaro and in a whole bunch of products from both manufacturers. It's a pretty good transmission. If you've driven it, you'll find it is, uh, they have very, very different tunes for these things depending on the vehicle that it's in. Really shift, a really quick shifting transmission. It's a very good transmission. So if that's what ends up in the Bronco, I think that's gonna be pretty good. Uh, there is a rumor that there's gonna be a manual and that would be super cool because I'm sort of a save the manuals kind of guy. In fact, I've got a shirt which I'm not wearing which is save the manual. So hopefully they'll make it available in a manual and that would be just thebomb.com. If you like V6s and you like a bigger engine with a little bit more torque, there is a rumor that the 2.7 liter V6 is also going to be available in this, and it's currently in the Ford F-150. Now, this is a very torquey engine. It makes 400 pounds-feet of torque at 2,750 RPM, 
and it makes 325 horsepower. So it's actually something that would probably be pretty well suited to a vehicle like this. I expect the Bronco is gonna be not the lightest thing on the planet, certainly not the heaviest SUV, but when you're driving a truck and you're potentially going off-road, you definitely want torque, especially low down in the rev band. So both these engines are probably pretty good choices and I can see Ford bringing back something like the Bronco. It's a little bit of an unknown, you know, bringing back a brand new car or rather re resurrecting a car from the past. So these two engines already existing in Ford's, Ford's lineup are pretty good choices. I think they're well suited because they both produce a lot of torque pretty down low in the rev range. So there's not a lot of information on this. However, TFL Car, they've got a great YouTube channel. They claim to have some insider information and they're saying that there might be a Raptor version of this coming out. And it might be based on the Ranger Raptor, which sadly is not available in North America. It is a European only kind of thing. And why do like the Europeans and all the overseas people get all the cool cars, especially when it comes to trucks, because we're supposed to get all the good trucks here in North America. And why do the Europeans get the good trucks? I don't know, but it is a smaller truck and probably, you know, not that well you know, suited for this kind of market. Uh, so what kind of engine might that have? So there's rumors that it might have the same engine as the Mustang, the Coyote engine, which is a five liter. And of course in the Mustang, it revs pretty high. It revs to 7,500 RPM, uh, just in stock form. However, the same five liter engine, this modular engine, Ford uses it across their lineup with different configurations. And so it's also available in the Ford F-150. And it's of course naturally aspirated and it makes 395 horsepower and 400 pounds feet of torque at 4,500 RPM. So that's a possibility. It's hard to say exactly if the Raptor is gonna be a real thing, but certainly the Bronco seems to be pretty much on track. This is the first time for me covering the Bronco, so let me know down below if there's stuff that you want me to talk about, specific things with the Bronco. Just let me know in general if there's things that you want me to cover. And if you got some good tips, hit me up on Instagram. It's right here on screen. That's the best way to reach me if you wanna have a quick conversation and send me some spy photos. Yeah, I'm ready for the spy photos. So how many versions of the Bronco are we going to see? So the rumors right now say that we're gonna see three different versions. And I've got some, you've probably been seeing the, uh, the renders up on screen here, but we're looking probably at a four x four or all wheel drive as being standard in this vehicle. That's pretty cool. And we're thinking, we're looking at a body on frame uh, version and a unibody version. And maybe another one, which would be called the Adventurer or maybe the Bronco Sport. At least that's what Motor Trend is saying is a possibility. Now, Motor Trend seems to have a little different information than some of the other publications. They're saying that the Adventurer or the Bronco Sport, the small one, which would be the unibody, might actually be the first version that we're gonna see. So right now it's uh, fall of 2019. Not a lot of you know date information yet exactly. So hopefully we're gonna see one of these things pop up. Maybe they're gonna do some kind of press release or some kind of reveal event before the end of the year. Could be early 2020. It's still a little bit hard to say, but the rumor mill isn't flowing quite hard enough yet. So I think we're probably looking at the end of this year at the earliest, at least that's my guess. So how much is this gonna cost? Again, hard to say the speculation is maybe it's gonna come in at around 30,000 US to start. Not a lot of information yet on this, but back to the most recent information about these patents. The Verge reported nine separate body panel patents, including doors. So there is this removable door patent up here on screen right now. Pretty interesting, it's a split door and apparently the window can be stored in either the top part of the door or the bottom part of the door. So that's kind of interesting. So where are you gonna store all these doors and things like that on the roof? So there's another patent which is here and I'm just gonna call it the toaster because it looks like everything is kind of lined up like that. Maybe you put this in the back. Pretty, pretty interesting. Hopefully it's lockable too. So you could like maybe lock the whole thing and, and leave it away from the vehicle when you're off camping. If you've been following this channel, you know that I am getting a super. It should be coming really, really soon. I thought I found one today, but they want it $15,000 over, which is ridiculous because they are available all over Los Angeles for sale right now, just not on the color that I want. So I'm kind of holding out for that, that yellow. And I want to thank my Patreons who get early access to my videos, among other things. Real Six, 
Furious Grommel, Marlboro Ferrari, Jason Perdue, and also I want to thank Squirrel Pope. You are no longer a Patreon, but you were supporting me for so long, so thank you so much. The rest of them are on screen. It's a couple videos on screen right now. Pick one. My name is Eric. I'll be back with more Bronco news and, of course, more Supra and more Corvette news soon. See you in the next one.